Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, and your name? Sharon Namnath. How do you do? I'm doing well, thank you. I know you've been working on that Monopoly board all week. Yes, we and have. And it looks great. Oh, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Santa Barbara in California. Okay, now your partner, and her name was? Tracy Leesum. Tracy. Do you two work together often? Yes, we do. Because you seem to work very well together in concert. Yes, we actually have worked together for about maybe 13 years. Mm -hmm. But she is the primary architect of most of the stuff we do when we work together. Okay. Now, you chose the Monopoly board, and I know why. Well, it's Atlantic City. Of course. It is Atlantic City. Now, have you ever designed that board before? We have not. This oh. is, we never repeat anything, so okay. this is the first time we've done it. That's great. That's great. And how long did it take you to design it first on paper to figure out how all your dimensions were going to be? And then, well, let's ask, let's ask that question first. Well, actually, not very long. Once we decided we were going to do the board, all we did was figure out how much room we had on the street and then how much room we needed extra for people to be, you know, things to be standing up out of it. Like we've got Mr. Penny bags and some hotels. So that requires a certain distance. So that tells us how big we can make the board itself. Okay. Now, once you got to the actual street and you had challenges such as cracks and different tilts of the asphalt, etc., how do you compensate for that? You know, we're not really compensating for the crown in the street. Um, we really are just not really thinking about that. But the cracks, the cracks really don't bother us too much. Mm -hmm. As long as they're not canyons, you know, we kind of ignore them. I see. So, did it, the time allowed it, was that pretty much in your plan? Did you, or did you find you needed more time? You had to rush, or it oh, was comfortable? It was very, very comfortable. Yeah, we were able to get a lot done. Okay. Tracy also is the uh, one of the organizers of the event, so sometimes she had to take off to get organizational things done. Right. So even with that, we actually had plenty of time. Excellent. So where is your next stop after this? Oh, well, my next stop is home for a while, but okay. I think uh, my next my next art gig might be Sarasota, Florida. Okay, so back to the East Coast. Right, right. So do you do a lot of traveling with your with your skill? I don't know if it's a business, if it's a hobby. Um, for, for Tracy, it's a business. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a business slash hobby because I actually also have another job. Um, so I, we do do a lot of traveling, actually, together. Okay. It's been very fun. And how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for 13 years. 13? That's I, a good yes. amount of time. Well, I actually started because I met Tracy mm -hmm. at another event and started talking to her. She started saying she was going to be doing this chalk drawing stuff. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, gosh, it sounds like fun. Can I come and help? And a whole bunch of, in fact, a friend of mine sponsored, sponsored a square. And a whole bunch of us showed up to help, and I loved it. I just, I sat there all day, you know, came the next day, came all three days to help her, and that's well, how I got started. Well, tell me this. What, what is your background in art? I really don't have one. Oh, I just am some great. kid who loved drawing things, uh -huh. and, you know, I draw my friends. I draw, I take pictures of, mostly I did gymnastics, so I took pictures of my friends as gymnasts and drew them. and. Mm -hmm you know, drew animals now and again, and just drew little things here and there. And then when I got to college, I was a computer science major, so I kind of didn't draw at all. Okay. But yeah, I, you know, and I'm kind of geeky anyway, so I have sort of a science head and an art head. Okay, I like that. <laughs> well, listen, thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you. And thank you. you for coming to Atlantic City. Well, thank you for hosting us. All right. We love it. Take care now. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> to talk about me because I'm not so able in your language yet. Well, we What's can work it out. My name's Simone. What is your name? Mimo. Mimo Rubino. How do you do, Mimo? I'm looking at your work here. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Rome, uh, Italy. Um, what do you want to do? What do you want to know about? Well, this is what I'm asking you, slowly <laughs> but surely. Yeah. Okay. What is the inspiration of your work? I, I always start from the location. Okay. So I watch the location, I study the architecture of the place, and uh, I design a work that can valorize the place mm -hmm. and uh, 
give something to think to the people. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, about the the view, or the, the the vision. Now the uh, I can't explain you. Sorry. You're doing well. Are you pleased with the outcome of your design? Yeah, I'm really happy. I love it. Now. I got just in these last few minutes. I gained a better understanding yeah. of your piece by looking at what you were pointing out to the photographer at the different angles. Ah, okay, yeah. Yes, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Because before, you know, I just saw the colors; they're pretty and what have you. But as I started following your direction with the camera, I understood better. Yeah, it's important. Yes. Point of view. It's always a question of point of view yeah. in the life. Yes, and I can understand how difficult it was. This wasn't, you know, it just looks like lines of paint, but it isn't. Not so difficult, no. The the difficult thing is to do something good. Something is good to see, not to do... It's simple. If you put a laser in the place, the the work works. Yeah, the, the, the piece works. Yeah, it's just a question of point of view. For me, it's not difficult, yeah. But I work with the simple shapes. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you too. Sorry for my English, madame. I thought it was quite well. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>